Hi, this is David Moskowitz here with Membership Academy. I have with me today John Socrates, uh, also known as John Socrates, but in Greek I believe it's Socrates. So uh, John is on the call with me today because he, he, you know, as much as I study marketing and copy and everything else, um, there are times when there's other people who just have their hand on the pole so much better than I do, and it's really a, a, a great thing to be able to bring them to you uh, as a premium member uh, and to be able to help you understand exactly what you need to be doing to getting to get uh, better conversions and and really improve uh, what you're doing online so um, thank you John for for coming on to the call with me today hey David uh, thanks for inviting me on this call uh, glad to be here um, basically on this interview I'm going to share with you two powerful conversion tactics that uh, we use in our online businesses and after implementing these two techniques uh, we almost uh, see instant results and the two techniques are uh, the first one is uh, how to silently uh, discover what your subscribers want to hear and improve your email open rates and the second one is uh, how we took one of the most profitable conversion technique uh, originally created by Frank here and it's called uh, the fourth day uh, cash machine and generated us an instant two thousand dollars and for this promotion and then uh, we're gonna go we go deep into uh, how we turn it into an autopilot earning us uh, an extra three thousand dollars per month and every single month first uh, I would like to introduce myself and uh, answer a possible uh, question that uh, listeners of this interview are probably asking and the question is uh, who am I and why you should uh, listen to me uh, to my tips and tools uh, to start your uh, to start and grow your online business uh, I'm actually pretty down to a guy originally born and raised in one of the smallest European countries in the, the world and this country is called Cyprus and I went to a point where I decided that I needed to get this part of my life called working for myself while I'm at home handled and I won't bore you with the details of course but you know I believe that while I share my life story from the past few years people will discover a secret and, and actually the secret how uh, I turn uh, uh, problems into businesses and this is the foundation that uh, how everything started uh, from uh, our business so here is uh, a quick uh, to, to make the long story short here's a few things about me I was uh, working as a computer technician for four years back in the days where there was uh, there were uh, still floppy disks, uh, working ten hours a day and getting paid uh, four hundred sixty-three dollars per month. And I went to college to learn about marketing, but then dropped it uh, simply because theories are too boring, and I just wanted to dive into uh, real life problems and actions. So I was looking uh, around for an idea in order to start uh, an online business and my first uh, three or so attempts uh, back in 2002 failed and failed miserably and my lesson learned from all these trials uh, was to never give up and never surrender. You know, for me uh, running your own business wasn't about money or status or material things it's about freedom it's about that being able to control your own destiny without having to answer uh, to others uh, and doing it your own way absolutely and while I was uh, researching the topic I discovered something interesting and I discovered some of the mistakes uh, that helped me back from my online business success and my main mistakes were actually two uh, First one, it's a multitasking. Uh, I was trying to make everything happen at once, and, and this uh, robbed my energy. And the second one, it's uh, the wrong mindset, mindset uh, because I was starting with the concept of finding an idea rather than focusing on finding the problem first mm -hmm. and then building a business by providing the solution. Yeah, that's a problem that uh, that a lot of people have, especially that are just getting into uh, starting something for themselves. Is they they decide on a great product and then they try to figure out where to sell it, rather than the other way around of of finding finding what the need is and then building the product. Absolutely. 
I was going through a time uh, where I had just entered the modeling industry and this brought me some success on the photo shoots. But I was failing many auditions because of one single problem. Uh, it's uh, it's going to sound funny, but I was feeling that my face uh, was getting fat. And I'm not, I'm, you know, I'm not talking about being overweight or something. I'm, uh, my problem was different. And it was just my face that was getting fat. And uh, I simply had no idea how to get rid of it. So I did some Google uh, searches on how to lose face fat and how to lose uh, chubby cheeks so with no results at all. And while I was uh, researching them and seeing so many other Foster the people like me struggling with uh, losing a face fat and literally wasting their money on worthless products. I decided that I wanted to help myself first and if it works, I would help others. So I spent the next year or so reading a lot of uh, weight loss books, diet books, uh, watching face exercises, tapes, uh, going to gym, visiting dermatologists and generally trying a lot of uh, other funny ideas. And, uh, but my real break uh, came when I started uh, meeting and talking with uh, real people from the fashion industry. Uh, you know, successful models who had a zero uh, face fat. And then uh, after that, I discovered that uh, basically in India, they were established in genes uh, that are specialized for the face. And that, uh, those genes are called the uh, face gene. And after a lot of studies and money spent on the topic, I finally created uh, my very first product. And that, that product uh, uh, was, uh, I call it, the uh, face fitness formula uh, back in 2007. And since then, the developed techniques uh, have transformed uh, the look of tens of thousands of satisfied customers from 100 uh, different countries. And we attract over 100,000 unique visitors to our websites every single month. And also special thanks to my buddy and partner, Bill Zimmerman. Um, we launched uh, five best-selling programs, including uh, upper phase revitalization, ultimate phase transformation, flawless eye formula, and each product is focused on a specific aging uh, problem. So. Now, we recently moved into the IM niche where we are creating our own products and tools based on what, uh, what we need uh, for our online businesses. And if something works out, then we are uh, promoting them, uh, promoting the products to other marketers so they can also enjoy the benefits and success. So the conclusion is uh, you need to try, fail, and then learn from your mistakes. <coughs> Whether you uh, try 5, 15 or 115 uh, times, uh, it's all an investment. Uh, every mistake is uh, just a learning experience and just make you stronger. And if, people, uh, if you ask me, uh, does it worth it? Uh, my answer will be simply yes. And if I had to do it over again, I'd, I'd want it the exact, uh, the exact same way. Right. So that I mean, that's really great in that you've actually done it outside of just marketing you've uh, in the marketing niche you've actually done it in a completely unrelated niche uh, face fitness and then and then taking those ideas and and been able to package them and and sell them into the the internet marketing niche which is really you know the the best way to do it yeah so on with uh, the first technique here uh, where we're going to talk about how to silently discover what your subscribers want to hear and how to improve your email open rates so for the last uh, 19 months or so, we've managed to capture over 25,000 uh, subscribers to a single opt-in list in just one of the many lists uh, we have in multiple markets. And the problem that I've noticed was uh, some uh, low opt-in rates. So I said to myself and my partner, uh, we have a problem here. So I decided to... But, we have to do something about it. Yeah, that's a big problem, and I think that they're actually, I've noticed them going down as well. So, uh, since we're using uh, Eggweber, and I'm sure that if you're using uh, some type of uh, autoresponder, uh, it's most probably Eggweber, um, you're going to see at the top of the navigation bar a, a tab uh, called uh, Reports, as we can see here on the screenshot. And 
Uh, once clicking that tab, you will see tons of uh, options where you can go very deep to understand your uh, subscribers. But uh, in my case, the most important section where uh, the first tab, uh, which is uh, the weekly new subscribers, uh, to find, as we can see on the screenshots right here, to find out if your list has an ongoing size increase or decrease on a weekly basis. Uh, tab number two, it's the following up status and subscriptions. Uh, to find, and this is to find uh, out what follow-ups make them stick and what makes them leave. And lastly, the tab number three, it's uh, the follow-ups totals. And this is to find what emails have a good and open bad rates. Oh, cool. So let's go uh, into details into these uh, tabs. And the first tab, uh, as we said, is the weekly new subscribers. And the purpose of this is to find out if you have a, uh, an ongoing increase or decrease of uh, subscribers on a weekly basis. And as you can see on this screenshot, uh, we have a pretty good uh, increase uh, of uh, subscriptions. And after reviewing uh, the stats, we, we were getting about uh, 500 to 600 uh, subscribers per week with, uh, with about uh, 35 to 45 subscriptions per week. Uh, that's uh, not bad at all. Mm -hmm. So the second tab here, it's the uh, follow-up status and subscriptions. And the purpose uh, for this is to find out what uh, follow-ups makes, uh, what follow-ups uh, make them stick and what makes them leave. And as you can see here, we have a uh, we have a serious problem on email number one, uh, email number thirty-two, and email number thirty-three. Mm -hmm. Email number one, we're getting about twenty percent of subs on subscription uh, from the follow-up email. Uh, email uh, thirty-one was getting uh, twenty point thirty percent of subscription from the uh, follow-up. And email number 32, we're getting uh, a 30.10 percent of subscription. So obviously there are some, uh, there were some serious uh, problems, and we had to, uh, we had to do something about them, which I'm going to explain uh, uh, shortly. But uh, lastly, let's go to the uh, tab number three, which is the follow-up totals. And the purpose of this is to find what emails have uh, good and uh, bad open rates. So I consider good open rates for emails with uh, other with emails over than twenty percent and bad open rates anything below ten percent. So here are my good open rates emails. Uh, as you can see here, email one goes to thirty five percent open rate. Email two thirty thirty three percent open rate. Email three twenty three and so on. Yeah, those are those are actually very good open rates. Yeah, and that means uh, that they love the subject line, and it, it makes them uh, open those emails, and that's a good insight and information to find what they want to hear, as well as what subject makes them uh, the content, what what subject make uh, the content interesting. So giving them more of this will be a pretty good idea. Mm -hmm. And here we see the emails that uh, were getting uh, under 10% open rate, and uh, it's uh, what, what I call them uh, problematic emails. And what does that mean is uh, they just don't don't find the content or, or subject line interesting enough to open it. So we have a problem here. Mm -hmm. But here what uh, I did to solve this. Since uh, follow-up email number one had uh, a very high open rate as well as unsubscription rate, I assume uh, high unsubscription rate means that they probably don't recognize the sender enough, uh, or the promised video link is not very obvious. So as a result, they were going down to the unsubscribe link. So I have added my website logo on the header and added, uh, another link that takes them to the promised uh, content so they would get busy with something instead of, you know, looking for the unsubscribe link. And after applying this uh, to the little changes, our subscription went uh, from 20% to uh, drop down to 90%. That's interesting. So just, just a, a quick recap on that. You added a link 
or a series of links so that the unsubscribe link was not the only link in the email. That's very clever. Exactly. I changed the subject line of the low open rates of uh, email uh, number 12, 21, 23, 24, 25, and so on. And I give them uh, about two weeks' time to test drive uh, those changes and see if there is any improvement. Mm -hmm. uh, some did increase and some not. So I have to change the subject line one or two times more and then retest until uh, I get them right. And in some other cases, I have to replace some emails with the uh, content uh, that they do like, based on the con based on the good open rates emails that we already saw previously. Uh, and then I totally removed uh, email 31 and 32, since the, they have a very high end subscription rate and very low open rate. Now we're going to talk about the technique number two, where uh, I'm going to show you how we added an extra $3,000 per month using uh, just one very simple trick. Uh, it's no secret that uh, when you learn how to use scarcity in your sales message, uh, you will instantly multiply your sales profits and conversions. But, you know, you can't uh, just send the same scarcity offer too often. Imagine uh, uh, looking at the, the particular TV channel and uh, you see every single day the same message, the same uh, offer, and telling you, you know, if you order right now, you're going to get this free gift, and, but you need to act right now. Mm -hmm. Well, first off, what, let, let's just quickly explain um, what scarcity is. Uh, I mean, there's, there's a couple of ways you can do it. One way is to limit the number of products sold. The other scarcity is a time scarcity where you have to buy it by a certain time period. And what you're saying is if, if you're doing either of those too often, you're going to lose the value of doing it. I mean, if you, if you see these uh, too often, first thing you're going to think is uh, either the offer is not credible enough because uh, it says if you order right now, you get this discount or this free gift. With So if you see this every single day, you're going to you, you, you just lose faith on it. Yeah. And, but on the online world, if you uh, if you send out the, the same offer email to your subscribers, basically you're gonna come across as a spammer, and you just don't want that. So I'm not sure how many people here know uh, and tested the four-day cash machine uh, technique by Frank here. Uh, I think uh, you probably have to be the David, yeah. Yeah, I'm aware of it, but maybe you can just briefly explain what it is. Okay, so when we tested that, uh, it generated us uh, about $2,000 in four days. And it's basically uh, based on four specific uh, emails uh, you send uh, to your list. And you send one email every, every day for four days in a row. So it has the psychological process uh, in place where uh, your readers can go through a uh, the right psychological process and they take action immediately. Uh, very powerful stuff. So highly recommend it if you didn't. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, for those uh, who are listening and uh, didn't uh, purchase the four day uh, cash machine. So, uh, and we love the results so much that we wish to find a way to uh, duplicate uh, this over and over again as new subscribers are coming into our list uh, without uh, having to broadcast the same emails and come across as uh, spammers to people will record it. Because imagine uh, broadcasting uh, the email uh, now and a week later to the same list, and you don't know who are the new and who are the old. Mm -hmm. uh, so we wanted a, a way to automate it, this stuff. So what we did is uh, instead of uh, sending out the same email uh, to the same list in order for new subscribers to get this as well, we created a tool uh, called the Page Exploration Robot, uh, where uh, people have their uh, very own countdown timer tracked by either IP or cookie, and their time uh, actually on the timer starts upon uh, their visits, uh, when their very first visit on the page, and once the time is up, then they get redirected to the normal price of the product. So what we did is uh, we added those uh, four emails in our uh, follow-up series and using the page exploration robot uh, that we uh, created. 
and which uh, works on a uh, visitor by visitor basis. And the results, since we were getting an average of uh, uh, 500 uh, to 800 leads uh, per week, and using the four-day cash machine on autopilot, uh, using page experiential robot, because without page experiential robot, we, it was almost impossible to uh, make uh, things uh, automated uh, for new uh, upcoming uh, new subscribers. And um, but at uh, an extra three thousand dollars per month, and every single month. Uh, in our profits. Yeah, that's great. So you've automated that whole process. That's fantastic. Yeah, there are so many ways we're using a page expiration robot to increase our sales. In fact, we recently had the product launch uh, for it, and we got awarded the product of the day by JVZoo. I'm not sure if you. And just so just so everyone knows what JVZoo is, JVZoo is kind of like a centralized um, sales or marketplace, uh, specifically for for IM products. And uh, if you if you have an amazing product, you, you get product of the day. Actually, the first one that we got awarded two times on um, two products, and we tested page experience robot on two of these uh, one-time offers. And the first one, the first uh, product launch, we did. Uh, we had uh, there was a point where we had a seventy-three percent uh, conversion rate on my sales page. If you go to www.pageexperientialrobot.com. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna see a screenshot of this conversion with the screenshot for that. That's fantastic, and um, uh, you know it it wouldn't be right for me not to ask on behalf of my members. Can can you do any sort of deal for them so that they can uh, they can they can get this? Sure, uh, I'm offering something special for the membership academy members uh, for two reasons. Reason number one, uh, not sure if you do remember, but. Back on, uh, in 2007, when I first started out building my face fitness center niche website, you were the one who helped me build the entire site from scratch, uh, from setting up the whole thing, integrating with uh, some uh, special tools uh, that automate the delivery of the content, uh, uh, to integrating and tweaking it in a way that uh, it does what it uh, does today and makes us money while we sleep so we can focus on creating more and more products so thanks for this and the second reason I'm offering the 50% discount to uh, Membership Academy members is because I've been a, a member of the Membership Academy and I know how it feels when you when you want to achieve an online business that is successful and do it without having to spend a fortune. You know? So here's the link on the screen, uh, exclusively exclusively for uh, Membership Academy members. Well, thank you so much for that. That's fantastic. Go to the link you see here on this page, and I'm going to put the link on the, uh, the article section of this video as well. Um, go to that page, check out the Expiration Robot. Uh, get it because it's going to help you increase your sales. Um, I'm going to be implementing this on some of my sites as well. I tested it actually a while back before you had fully developed it, I think um, maybe six months ago, and I thought it was great uh, back when it didn't have everything it's got now. So um, I'm really excited to take a look at it in, in more detail once again. Okay, and uh, I, I think that that will then conclude this. Thank you, John, so much for your time. Uh, I know it's very valuable. And again, um, John is really, uh, he, he's got his finger on the pulse of what's going on in the marketplace for sure. So uh, I hope you really got a lot of value out of this and, and you're going to go ahead and take some action. Go ahead and, and check your AWeber stats and, uh, and make some changes to, to your, your sequence as needed. And, um, and go ahead and check out the page expiration robot. Thank you, John. Thanks, David, for inviting me to this call. It was my pleasure to uh, talk with you today. And I hope the members enjoy the stuff that we share. Thank you. Okay, and that will conclude this video. Thank you very much for being a member of Membership Academy. And good luck with your membership site.